What is going on guys, Newton here with MMO Play, bringing our first look and impressions video into Bleach Online, a free-to-play browser-based MMORPG. Now this game is uh, pretty resemblant or really closely related to the anime or the manga, which everyone you guys watch or read. Uh, I've not really kept up with the show, so I don't know too much about it, but um, I feel the art style and the characters kind of closely resemble what uh, the show has uh, portrayed, and I feel the game is pretty closely resemble it to that. So, upon logging into the game, it has you pick a class, as you can see here. There's my character just running around. Um, there's three different classes to choose from, and it seemed like there was two uh, two melee-type classes and then a mage-like class. I went with the mage-type class. I wasn't really too familiar with um, uh, what the classes were, so I just went ahead and picked one and kind of hopped into the game. There wasn't too much character customization, so I didn't really go over it. I thought I would just explain that to you guys, but here we are in the game, and uh, we have some quests to follow, so we're going to go ahead and click that, auto-track, kind of like most browser-based MMORPGs, um, there's really nothing new here, everything has been seen and been done, um, other, th other than that, I mean, it has a little slightly different art style to it, because it is based off the anime, and I feel that's kind of what's really going for this, I really enjoy the art style to this game, it's a little bit different, the combat and the animations are really smooth, and the combat and the flashy skills are really nicely done, which makes the combat pretty, like, um... Pretty fun, pretty uh, well to get into. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue there. A lot of auto-tracking, as you can see. Um, not really too big of a fan of the auto-tracking questing because the game kind of plays itself for you. So it's a lot of just running around, doing a quick mission through combat and um, other stuff through NPCs. And then a lot of dialogue in between. I mean, there's a ton of dialogue in this game, so there seems to be quite a, an immersive story in the game. So if you guys are into the story, or really like the anime, and want to play the game and really get involved with it, I suggest you take the time to read it, and oh, as you can see here, it seems like we've got a boss going on over here, so he's not doing too much damage. Uh, we did fight a guy previous to this, and he did quite a bit of damage to us, but we had a little guy over here to help us, so it seems like it's not just you in every battle, it seems like you can build a team later on the more you get involved in the game, so which is pretty cool, so we just went ahead and defeated that guy, it wasn't too bad, really, really easy, and upon defeating uh, dungeons or different uh, NPCs and stuff like that. You can see there's like a progression that goes on with different areas. You can select the rewards. We're going to go ahead and click the middle one and it seems like well, there's two different rewards. We got the silver and we got an XP boost. So we got silver, not too bad. I'm not going to complain. Free money. Can't be too upset about that. So we went ahead and did that. Completed this quest. We're going to go ahead and turn it in. And like most browser-based MMORPGs, one quest, or maybe two, depending on how far you get in the game, is going to level up your character instantly. So really getting into the game and really getting um, getting the level cap seems to come fairly quickly, and leveling up is not too difficult. I mean, lots of auto-tracking, so you can see I'm just tracking back and forth across the city to um, different characters, just lots of dialogue in between, like I said, and turning it in, fighting a dude, and then leveling up. It's really not much to it. Uh, it's fairly simple. Like I said, nothing we haven't seen before in other browser-based MMORPGs. The interface is very similar. The combat uh, has a nice turn-based style to it. Like I said, it's a little bit different within the art style because it kind of based off the anime, and I really do enjoy that aspect of the game. I think that's really what's going for it.